okay hi uh, now we're going to revise on this very important formula resultant force equals to mass times acceleration which in short we usually say that F equals to MA now actually it's not only F it's a resultant force which is actually the total force now what do we mean by total force it does not mean that the forces add up together for example I have 10 Newton pushing a 2 kilogram box now suppose it's on a rough floor and the frictional forces is 4 Newton so we say that the resultant force is 10 minus 4 now because they are in different direction 10 to the right 4 to the left so therefore we have to minus and the resultant force is 6 Newton to the right okay now if we apply this equation resultant force equals ma now the mass is 2 kilogram so 6 Newton equals to 2 kilogram times a which means that the box will move to the right with an acceleration of 6 divided by 2 which is 3 meter per second square now what does that mean that means that if someone push a box with 10 Newton the friction is 4 Newton the resultant force is 10 minus 4 6 Newton and it's 2 kilogram mass uh, acceleration will be 3 meter per second square now how does the exam question comes out <coughs> okay there are three three item one two and three so if I give you these two you'll find the acceleration if I give you these two you'll find the resultant force if I give you these two which is less usual you'll find the mass okay now uh, <coughs> if if the resultant force is zero it may mean that if the resultant force is zero it may mean that it's at rest at rest not moving or if it's moving it's at constant speed in a straight line which is uniform velocity okay so we have just learned resultant force equals of mass times acceleration angry birds